Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. A week ago, we had asked you how we could pray for you, and we had so many requests. Uh, hundreds of requests came in. So I want to just pray for all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for salvation. We thank you that you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, to not only die on the cross, but before that, to take the stripes on his back, to love us, to give to us. And, and Father, whoever believes in you should not perish, but have everlasting life. And you have come to give us abundant life, not just life, but abundant life in Jesus Christ. So we want to thank you. So many prayed for their families, for their salvation, for the moms and dads and their spouses and their sons and daughters and grandkids. And Father, we, we ask that you would envelop them with your love and let the blood of Jesus fall on them. So many are facing losses this, uh, this Christmas, this New Year's. They had a family member that died and their hearts are broken and shattered. Father, you replace the brokenness. You replace the shattered with your love and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and someone said that the 7th of January was an important day. Father, whatever it may be, let it be in your peace and in your love and in your grace. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So many prayed for those who are persecuted in the world. Father, we have brothers and sisters in prison because they they love you and they're preaching the gospel and they're put in prisons. Father, be with them, be with their family, strengthen them, uh, just uplift their spirits. Even in the darkness, you are the light. You are the light and our hearts break for them, Father. But we know that you are with them and we thank you. So many people prayed for, uh, are praying for mental illnesses, whether it's depression or anxiety or, or whether even in neurological world, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, things that here, doctor says, give more medicine and do this and this. Father, you're the greatest medicine. Your, your healing has already been here. It's already, you, you've sent it forth. Your word is healing. You said it is finished on the cross. You said by your stripes we were healed. And so, Father, we are accepting that no matter what the symptoms, we're accepting that we are healed. Those precious souls with, with uh, mental issues, uh, the, the developmental issues, neurological issues, Father, you're touching them right now. You're touching the cancer, even fourth stage cancer. It has a name. But Jesus' name is above all these illnesses, whether it's neurological, cardiovascular, lungs, pulmonary, GI tract, arthritis, joints, cancer, whatever it might be, they all have names. But your name, oh my, Woo, the name of Jesus is above all names. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And we're proclaiming healing and evil spirits that are in the souls and in the hearts and in the spirits of mankind. We're, tell, we're talking to you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the Lamb. You have no rights on these men and women and children. You leave in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Many people were praying for jobs. May you get the right job coming up the right interview, grace and favor upon favor and blessings upon blessings. And those who are wanting to know which direction to go, Father, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. And the governments of all the world, Jesus, it says about him, for unto us a son is born or a child is born unto us, a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. And the government actually should be upon his shoulder one shoulder that's how strong it is father you have the kings and the emperors and the president's hearts in your hands and you directed any which way you want in proverbs 21 1 we trust you we're coming to you we're asking for peace and goodness and health and anything that comes, no weapons forged against us is going to prevail. We're going to refute every tongue that accuses us for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is their vindication. This is their righteousness for me, declares the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine, 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 shine his face upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. We at the beacon have prayed for you. Be blessed. Be strong. Go with God. Go with the Lord Jesus Christ. Go with the Holy Spirit, your advocate, your counselor, the lover of your soul. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen.